Do you think it's important that we teach about the LGBT community and their rights and their history in schools? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And it's so sort of removed and erased from popular culture that like we need to actively address that in school and proper education. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Um, I how mean, is it erased? Just like our systematic mainstream narratives, the way people choose to teach history and talk about the world, like erases L the LGBT experience, LGBT presence throughout the world, everything. I don't know, yeah. Do you think that we should teach LGBTQ plus history and just generally about it in school? Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, completely. I think there's so... If people aren't... I'm very lucky I got it taught by like my mum. I'm from a very accepting family. But people who aren't, there's not a way for them to access that sometimes. And I think school is such a great place of learning and education. So why not teach people about that? I, I think there's so much history behind it that's so important for not only queer people to learn about their history and their culture but for also straight people to understand it as well and I think it does it's um I think so much of homophobia especially in schools starts from at home and people's families and what they're taught and I think schools really have the opportunity to change that sometimes but they just aren't <laughs> so do you think it's important that teachers affirm the gender of their students yeah like definitely respect and just like I don't know, ask the pronouns, like maybe on the first day or or just like check it throughout. Like, it's just like basic respect, I think. Do you think it's important that teachers affirm the gender of their students? Most certainly. I think I think if they're not, it's, it's just, I don't understand why no one would be. I mean, if someone's come to you and said, this is who I am, why don't you respect that? It's a, it's a breach of who they are. It's a breach of their human right and like, who they are as a person is disrespectful to yeah. not. I think it's just offering like decent human respect to another person and hopefully teachers would give that to their students. So do you think it's important that teachers affirm the gender identity of their students? Oh a hundred percent yeah. At what age do you think someone would be able to understand their gender identity? I think it's complicated. I think if you want to go down the kind of neurological science road, there's that. And if you just want to go down the road of, well, how children look at life and how people grow up, that's one look at life. I, I, I think there's an age that people often, like it's a similar age where it's like, oh, I find it's normally about like when you're just getting to a teenager, I think people find out, but I, I, don't, I don't think there should be a set time. I think people should be allowed to, change their minds also about stuff. I think people should be able to learn and grow and change their minds. Why do you think it's important for parents to affirm their child's gender identity? Because I mean it's part of raising a kid to be who they are and they want to be in a happy fulfilled child like. And so many trans and gender non-conforming youth um, have like some of the highest mental health issue like rates of mental health issues and suicide and that's because like they don't have the care and support that they need so it would be great if parents supported their children um, in every case yeah so about parents because some parents might not be accepting of their child's gender identity what actions do you think should be taken to safeguard those children do you want to go first <laughs> sure I think the main thing is like sort of if that home can't be the support for that child then the school should be or some other place maybe it's their sports team but it's really important to have an adult in your life who sees you who you are the child transgender charity mermaids is trying to push for puberty blockers um, to be available for those under 16 do you think that's the right move um yeah, definitely in some cases. Um, it's like, I think it's quite like a hard topic because I don't know, like, I'm not sure sure if they're reversible. They, they might be, but like, yeah, I think generally that's a pretty good thing to do. What age do you think young people should be able to seek out medical gender affirming treatments like puberty blockers, for example? Hmm. I think I think it's complicated. I don't really have an answer for that because I I don't really have an experience with it. So yeah. I think like with 
like medical changes, of course, like it's people are trying to put like a blanket statement on it. Oh, it should be this age for everyone. But like people are individual, and I think it really mm. depends on what each person needs, whether they have a support system, um, and also like like why they feel like they need it. But I think like what we need to be doing is offering people support through that. I think with something like puberty blockers, there seems to be really minimal damage long term, um, and it seems to be a really safe option to give people more time. So I. I think puberty blockers are a great development and have really like saved trans kids' lives. Mm. Um, I think they're amazing. And I think with more like hormone replacement therapy, again, it's for each person individually to figure out with them and their healthcare providers of what's right for them. Because we're not all the same. We all need different things. Yeah, there shouldn't be like a certain age that's like, this is right and this is wrong. I yeah. think, yeah, the world's changing. People are changing constantly. So I think medicine should also be changing as well yeah um, and my final question is so about I believe it was a year ago um, the Conservative Party the Conservative government made it illegal um, gay conversion therapy they made it illegal and there was a push for trans conversion therapy so medical professionals who want to affirm the gender of um, their patients that would be made illegal do you guys agree with that I mean, absolutely, like, I think just as it is with sexuality, we can see that it's absolutely wrong with gender as well. I think the idea that there is something wrong about being trans is it's what makes people feel like they can't exist and be trans. Like, it's not, on a base level, it's not difficult to be trans, but it's cis people and this world that makes it so difficult. And so having that basic thing that says that we care about you and we think that you deserve to exist as you are is really necessary. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.